Hey folks, Chris Vandeviver here from WhyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Today I want to talk about missed opportunities. For example, you have a Logic project open, it's a song you've been working on for a while, and so you have your guitar plugged into your interface or your USB keyboard plugged into your Mac, something else entirely, and you're listening to the track. You've hit spacebar, you're listening, and you're playing along. And as you're playing along, you're trying to figure out what does this song need? And suddenly inspiration strikes and the most genius, brilliant take flies from your hands and you lay down a perfect take. You are so pumped on this, but then you look up and you realize, crap, I wasn't recording. I was just playing along. And now you're super upset and you're frustrated and you're like, what the hell? That was the perfect take. And I want you to know this does not have to be the case. You don't have to be frustrated. In fact, logic is always listening to what you are sending to it. Even if you didn't hit R to record, logic is always listening and ready to capture those moments. You just have to know the right procedure to accomplish that. And that works for both instrument tracks and audio tracks. So real quick, let's dig into this. Let's start with instrument tracks. I have an electric piano track here. I'm going to use the musical typing on screen to capture some piano performance that I'm not recording for. I just hit spacebar, I'm playing along, and I'm going to capture it after. To accomplish this, we want to go up to the control bar here. You're going to right click or control click, and then customize control bar and display. Click on that. Now you want to make sure to enable capture recording. When you click on capture recording right down here in the menu, you're gonna see what looks like the record button. It's identical, but it has a white circle around it. Okay, that's all you need. Here's the procedure. Let's open up the musical typing. I'm gonna hit space bar so the track is playing. Let's pretend I'm playing along to a track. And I'm just gonna hit some random keys. Okay, we're gonna hit spacebar to stop. Now, before you do a single other thing, go up to the capture recording button, click on it, and look at that. Everything that you played with that instrument track is now populated the instrument track. Nothing has been left out. It's that simple. Now, for audio tracks, it's the exact opposite, but just as easy. So I have a guitar track here, I'm gonna play. Just play an A. Okay, perfect. Now in this particular case, we want to go up to the record menu and we have this option here called allow quick punch in. And when you click on it, a check mark will appear that tells you that this is now enabled and it will be enabled for every project that you open from here on out. Super easy. Okay, I'm going to hit play and I'm gonna play some guitar riff. Just see what happens. I'm gonna hit space bar to play. Now, before I hit spacebar to stop, it's the exact opposite. We're gonna hit R for record. Now that seems counterintuitive. I've already played it, why would I hit record now? But now let's hit stop. Check this out. I'm gonna take the leftmost corner of this region, I'm gonna click and drag out. And as you can see, what I played was contained within that region. Let's check it out. It's that simple. Where instrument tracks, you hit stop first and then you go up to the capture record button. Instead with audio tracks, you don't stop. You hit R for record, record just a tiny bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. Then you hit space bar to stop. And everything that you want to hold on to is contained within that region, within the audio file. It's just hidden. You have to drag the left border out to reveal it. I found that every time in my Logic experience where I think that some option is not available to me, they've thought about it all and they've provided it to all of us. So much in fact, there's so many little workflow enhancements that I created a checklist of my 10 favorite Logic workflow enhancements just for you. These are not widely known. I mean, they're not totally secret. It's just not immediately evident because these are preferences you have to enable. These are procedures that you have to be aware of. 
So I created this quick checklist of my 10 favorite logic workflow enhancements just for you. All you have to do is go to the link down below and download it. It's totally yours for free. As always, if this was helpful to you, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel itself, YLogic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website, ylogicprorules.com. Every week, I'm posting new videos, new posts, new emails to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much.